in New Orleans. There's Dayton Fix. The only dual bout loss of his career came four years ago. It's a one-point Cowboy lead. A pin would put it out of reach for Oregon State. A simple decision would mean that Cleveland Belton would need a bonus point victory for Oklahoma State, for Oregon State to knock off Oklahoma State. Two bouts left. Jason Shaner looking for some magic against second-ranked Dayton Fix. Dayton Fix, a silver medalist at the World Championships in Oslo, Norway, 15 months ago. His Twitter handle is greatest ever won. He was undefeated in his high school career. Dayton Fix. And Fix showing why, getting the early two. 168-0 for Charles Page High School in Sand Springs, Oklahoma. Four state titles, National Honor Society, honor roll, ran cross country as a freshman and sophomore. Dayton Fix. And they'll go back to the middle. So Shaner, with his work cut out for him, he's in the gray. Chris Pendleton says it, he thinks differently, walks a different path. There's a team, the Beavers watch a show called Limitless, and there was an episode about a guy who did a marathon in the Arctic, and after watching that, Jason sits in a 45-degree cold tub. His record is 16 minutes. Pendleton said he doesn't recommend it. Don't try that at home. Shanner wrestled for Trent Kroll at Hood River Valley High School. Going to combine 174 and 16. State title as a junior when he went 47 and 1. As a senior, 52 and 0 to back it up. So final two years, 99 and 1. But he is facing the heavily favored Dayton Fix. And John Smith coming over to talk with Jason Hersel. Now Smith with a word for Chris Betneski. And the two referees talk. And they're going to take a look at something that John Smith brought up. Again with Fix. So Smith bringing it up. Now he's coming over to the video table himself. Now Pendleton coming over with his mentor and former head coach and saying something. And now Pendleton is in the face of Chris Betneski as John Smith talks with Jason Hersel. Each referee hearing it from a head coach. Still 2-0 fix. Shaner put in a compromising position here. Ankle sweep by Fix. Fix stand in bounds. And we had a stalemate. Yes, Shaner would like to knock off the number two wrestler in the country, Dayton Fix. But if nothing else, avoid the bonus point victory.
Dayton Fix, three-time national runner-up, sixth-year senior at Oklahoma State. Lost the national title to RBY, Roman Bravo Young of Penn State the last two years. One minute. Last year by a 3-2 decision. Two years ago, sudden victory, 4-2 win for Roman Bravo Young. Three of the four losses in Fix's career have come in NCAA title bouts. Those are the two to Roman Bravo Young of Penn State. One to Nick Soriano of Rutgers in 2019. But this is a formidable wrestler, Dayton Fix. A couple of things break his way. Could have a couple of NCAA titles to his credit. Cowboys have 143 individual NCAA titles in their history. 58 more than Iowa, which has the second most. And there's Fix with another takedown of Shaner. Four to one, 23 seconds remaining here in the first period. Dayton Fix in the orange. Both his grandfathers were collegiate wrestlers. His paternal grandfather, David, at Northern Colorado. Maternal grandfather, Alan, at BYU. John Smith told me before the bout that he wants Fix to try to separate the scores more, get more bonus point wins. Second period coming up. Four to one, Fix lead. He won the 133-pound weight class at the Southern Scuffle last Sunday and Monday in Chattanooga. Knocked off Chattanooga's Braden Palmer in the final. Takes a three-time Big 12 champ. Cut Shaner loose. Shaner on the offensive. Oh, Fix is quick, isn't he? Quick level change. Shaner defending things for the moment. And there's the two points given to Fix and a 6-2 to two lead. And the stalemate has the back of the middle. Shanner in his third year with Oregon State after a couple of years wrestling for Clackamas Community College. One point escape. Full-time starter for the first time ever. One minute. Jason Shaner, number 18 in the country at the 133-pound weight class in the gray. Dayton Fix, number two in the country to the two-time defending national champ, Roman Bravo Young of Penn State, who again beat him in the NCAA final each of the last two years. And again, yes, Shaner wants the upset. But if he can't get that, he wants to avoid being majored or worse by Fix. To give his team a shot to win the duel in the final bout. There's another two for Dayton Fix. And an 8-3 lead. See how quickly he cuts him loose here. Not at the end of this period like this. And it'll be 8-3 Fix heading to the third. Needs to get the lead to eight points to, to get the major. Oklahoma State's Dayton Fix was a silver medalist at 2021 senior. Riding time. time Clearly in hand. A fix. We've got a good one here. So essentially it's third. a nine-three lead. Let's get loud and stay loud, Beaver Nation. That riding time point to be tacked on at the end. Shaner unable to ride Fix, as you might imagine. Yeah. 
Shander taking a shot. Another takedown for a fix would put it in major territory. And there it is. Another takedown for Fix. 11 to 3, essentially 12 3 lead with the riding time point. Only bonus point win came in the first bout of the night at 149. Victor Voinovich with a major decision over Riley Gurr of Oregon State. One point escape. It's a seven-point lead for Fix, but he has the riding time point locked up. One minute. The Shaner, to avoid the major, is somehow going to have to figure out a way to take down the number two-ranked wrestler in the country. A guy with a legit shot at the NCAA title. Good action there. Shaner still smiling as he hustles back toward the middle. I like the attitude of Shaner. Dayton Fix taking care of business. One more shot at Shaner. Shaner fending him off for the moment. Five seconds remaining. Oh, tack on the riding time point. 12 4, major decision. For Dayton Fix. Your winner at 133 pounds. That puts the Cowboys up 17 to 12 with one bout remaining. And Oregon State is going to likely need a pin from Cleveland Belton over Carter Young in the final bout.